Welcome back to Sam Guest Channel. In this video, I would like to present all the sayings of the characters in Poppy Playtime. Let's start. You, you're Poppy's angel. Come to save us. Nothing left to save. Not here. Lord Catnap's home, angel. Their home. A million pairs of eyes are on you now. Watching. Waiting. Hungry. They want nothing more than to crawl beneath your skin and eat away at you bit by little bit. <laughs> Fill what feels empty inside themselves. That thing. Catnap. The prototype is his god. And this is what he does to heretics. These little toys follow Catnap to avoid that very fate. And in return, they are fed. <clears throat> we try to fight it. The prototypes control. I am the last of the smiling critters. Listen to me. You need to get out of this place. You need to live. You and Poppy could fix this. End this madness. The torment. Oh no. Oh no. Leave me. Please, just go! Run! A hug a day keeps the monsters away. Two hugs a day is better in every way. Hugging forever. Hugs are non-stop. I'm gonna hug you until you pop. Please excuse the interruption. Students, remain in your seat until the bell has rung. And no going in the halls without a hall pass. Wait, I recognize you. Yes, I remember. You used to work here. How are you? Alive. Hmm? Barb? Oh. Barb says you're looking for your co-workers. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. For your own safety. Not a good listener, are you? You're a lot like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs too. <laughs> I look forward to finding out. here to help. <sighs> this place makes her tense. I'm glad that Ollie could help you get this far. He's the reason we found you at all. Looks like the train crash hurt us both. <sighs> You've been through so much. You deserve an explanation. Come on. Hey, you'll be okay. We'll be okay. Listen, I'm not your enemy, but I can't just let you leave. What's happening down here is bigger than all of us. And I need you, so we can get revenge on those monsters who've tortured you, who've tortured us. They didn't act alone. They're disciples of the original, the prototype. Do the honors? The prototype knows we're coming by now. You try to escape, 
He'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. He's the reason I was trapped in that god-awful case for so long. You have no idea of the things he's done. Let me help you kill him. Let me help you save everyone. We've all seen you, how capable you are. You killed Huggy. You killed Mommy. You freed me. You are perfect for this. Catnap is coming. He's the final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. We can't stay here. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you. Find the flower. Find the flower. This isn't a place you come back from. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Do you know what's happened here? Do you see why we have to end this? Do you even know what's real? No, you don't. I hope this is coming through. There's no time to waste. Catnap is on his way. The room you're in used to be a sort of panic room. It's not what it used to be, but it can protect you. Learn how it works. Try putting the batteries in the different glowing spots. Good. Okay. Now, in between the hallways, there's those two side rooms, on both the left and the right. There'll be green power receivers in those little rooms. They can block off the hallways before Catnap gets to you. Try them. Good. If you see Catnap, use those. You're probably gonna hallucinate a bit. It'll be hard to tell what's real and what's fake. Try using your flares on Catnap to make sure he's real. He's almost there. There might be a way to kill him if you can hold out. Do you see that computer terminal? Progressively use the batteries to fill the surrounding slots. Please, don't die. Oh, good. You're here. And you've done it again. The impossible. Just like I knew you would. Catnap's gone. The red smoke is diverted. Everything is falling into place, thanks to you. But if we're to keep going, then... Then you deserve to have the truth. You came back because of your co-workers. You want to know what happened. And why. This... This is your answer. We called it the Hour of Joy. I remember hearing every moment of it. It went on so long. So agonizingly long. They tried to hide. To run. Anything to stay alive. I remember their cries. What's going on? Why is this happening? What are those things? <laughs> Senseless slaughter, that's all it really was. They killed everyone. The guilty, the innocent, didn't matter. All that death didn't fix anything. And then, once it was all over, they dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found. And they ate the bodies to stay alive. The prototype has to die for this, for everything. Soon as we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? After you. <sighs> All right, once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. There's something... What? What's she doing? This isn't... No, no, no! no!